M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Yesu FT4XE dual band VHF, UHF and broadcast frequencies radio. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're going to show you how to set up split mode on the Yesu FT4XE. So why have this? Well, you might have an unusual split or you might want to have separate tones, CT, CSS tones on the you know input and output. And there may be another reason. So let's just show you. We've already set it up on this radio. So we'll just show you just in action. So look, if you look, there's no minus or plus shift showing at all. At all. We have added a tone uh, and a tone frequency, but that's it. And when we key the mic, look. So on, we're listening on 145600, which is GB3WR. And when we key, it shows you the B band. So, and it's... TXing on the input, which is 145500, it's still got the tone square, which is set at 94.8. So how have we done this? So on this radio, to go A and B band, you push the VM button here on the bottom left, or on A band, B band, and if you hit it again, it takes you into memory yeah, mode. To, uh, and then back to A band. So let's go into the menu system. So hit the function button here, the, the bottom button, hold it down. And firstly, I would go to menu 42 and see VFO split, then hit the function button again and just turn it on by going up or down. And once you've set it on, just tap it. Now go down to menu 38 and decide which tone frequency you're going you're, you're gonna to use. So press the function button again, choose the frequency on receive and then tap V here, choose it again for transmit. I always do both. And then hit it again, and then go to menu number 36. And then it will be the squelch type or tone type. So hit it again with the up and down arrow here. Go up or down. And you just, you know, you're going to probably choose T tone or tone squelch. Okay, what's the difference? Well, when tone squelches on, it literally nothing will get through unless it's carrying that CT CSS tone. With just tone, it will open up the repeater and then let everything else through. Anyway, so let's come right out. So we're back onto the normal screen. And let's make sure we're on VFO A and type in the output of your of the repeater that you intend to use. So just we'll change it to B to GB3 BC here, which is one four five seven five zero okay and then i've just shown you how to set the tone so do that as well we've turned on split mode now go to b band so push the v the v button here now the t the the input is one four five one five oh so we go one four five one five zero Now we go back to the A band, we are going to have to pass the memory one, so hit the V here, that's our memories. Um, then back to A band. Now when we key M0FXB, oh. well that's quite handy, we are actually able to open it. So that's it, that's all you do. Uh, I mean it will work backwards, if I go to the B band, push the VM here, and now do it, nothing's going to happen. M0FXB, because it's working backwards, but whichever one you're on, you know, it will reverse it. So I think it's a handy little tip. I think it's a very quick way of adding a repeater as well, if you ask me. And I'll, I'll make a separate video about storing this into the memory. Okay, let's store our split memory into the radio or into the memory. So look, I've already done it here. And look, you can see plus and minus showing, but we'll do another one. Let's go back to the A band. Remember, we've already stored this for creating our split channel on A and B. So, all you do, go to A, hold down the VM button. Choose the, the number. Let's go to number 13. And then hold it again. And you can, it'll go in and then, you know, you could you, could, you can name it, but we're not going to name it now. So look, if we go to number 13, look, go 13, it's just got the frequency, it's just got the frequency because we haven't named it. 
Right, now we want to store a split frequency. So what you do now is go back to B band, which is the split, hold down VM, this time go down to 13, and then now push P2, and it will put it in. And you've now basically stored a split memory. So let's go back into memory mode, push the VM button here, and you've gone into memory, select the, the same, obviously the same number, 13, so there you go. You've now got, you can hear it in the background, I've got my other radio. So that's it, so you've now stored a split memory. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you find this helpful and, and hit the like button. Catch you on air, all the best. M0FXB.